So today we're going to use a, uh, a 2 0 hook for the uh, saltwater fly. So we got that. We're going to go with some, some white bucktail. We got our white rooster feathers. They're medium size, like four inches of pink tail today. So we got pink, white, the rooster, and then just some eyes. This is just some flashing. All right, so we're gonna start with some just basic white thread. Uh, we're just gonna put a base layer down. So I like to go all the way down the hook. So it just gives it a nice little base layer so that way it doesn't slip and slide when we start to put some, some of the hair on. We'll go with a little bit of white hair. So just take a little pinch, trim it off, pull the extra hair out, and then trim it up so it's all even. So I like to start on the bottom, so we're going to go with, the, with a white belly so it looks more like a, uh, a bait fish. You don't have to be too neat with this because uh, you'll see at the end it'll, it'll all get covered up. Is there anything just sticking out? Next I'm going to take some of the, uh, the flashing. Gonna match it up. And put down the size. So I like to cut it just a little bit past the, uh, or, or around the same length actually as the, as the bucktail itself. And then same thing on the other side. Basically, we got a little bit of flash um, to attract the fish, and you know when, when the sun hits off of it in the water, um, we have the white as as like the belly of the fish, um, and it's up to you if you want to make it like a little longer. You could add these these um, rooster feathers. You could add just one on top like that, or you could do two on, one on each side. Uh, if you were going to do two on the side, I would add these first, and then throw the flashing on top, so it would be over. Um, but today we'll just we'll throw one on top, see how that comes out. So I just like to pinch away a little bit of the, the feather that you don't need. And just really using it for the end. Alright, so now that we have like, this is like the base layer of it, um, what I'll do next is I'll throw some more, more of this white just to cover up this thread. Um, so we're going to throw some white down here at the bottom, and then we're going to finish it off with, with a pink up top. Just a little, another little pinch of white, some nice longer hairs. We're going to finish it off with um, just a little bit of pink, try and find like the longer hairs.
And then just for uh, the very top, I like to add just a little, um, just a darker color. It could be brown or black. And then to finish it off, I just go uh, with like an overhand or over finger loop. So you just go right over, loop it around three times. Two. That's three. Now this could be finished right here just like that you can use it um, you know throw some eyes on it um, but what I want to do is make it so that it's more long and slender something like that so we're going after like a bait fish so to do that put it back in here I'm gonna go with a, uh, a, so like a clear thread, translucent. So I'm gonna start up on the head itself. See how it's all like poofy and stuff? We wanna make it long and slender, like something like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this clear thread and basically just wrap over the whole body of bait fish so that's what I was saying before it doesn't really matter how the base layer is because it's going to get covered And now same thing to finish it off, that over over the finger and then over the head three times. That's it, just trim up this little. Now you just gotta add some eyes and a, a clear coat. You'll have yourself a nice fly. Alright, and then just to finish it off, we're going to throw some eyes on it. So just a little bit of uh, super glue to hold them.